Hey guys, welcome back to another great game of CDH. Starting us off today is Hidden Planet X on Yuriko, the Tiger's Shadow. This Demir Ninja is hard to remove and a great value engine, while also having the potential to chunk your opponents down. His opening hand was an Underground Sea, Ottawaro, Ingenious Prodigy, Limduel's Vault, Bogart Trowler, Street Wraith, and a Commandeer. Next up is MTG Loots on his signature deck, Slicer Hired Muscle. The epitome of aggro, this killer robot is here for blood. With a bunch of stacks and an equipment sub package, this deck is speed incarnate. His opening hand had two mountains, War Room, Beamtown Baitstick, Dockside Extortionist, Brotherhood Regalia, and a Tybalt's Trickery. In the third spot, we have Intrabeck, rocking his signature, Thrasios Vile Smasher. And while you might have seen the list on CDH TV's channel, he has been updating ever since, and man, has it gotten some love in the recent sets. His opening hand at a Flooded Strand, Arid Mesa, Mox Opal, Mana Crypt, Ignoble Hierarch, and a Fluster Storm. Bottoming a Fate Stitcher. And bringing up the rear is Papa Squats on Magda. This is Mighty Morphin Dwarves, aiming for lots of treasure and an instant speed tutable win con. His opening hand was a Treasure Vault, Rending Volley, Vexing Bobble, Cursed Mirror, and a Pinnacle Month. Bottoming a Nexus of Becoming and a Scourge of Valkus. Alright, block there, kill that, oh that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Hidden starts off the game with an Underground Sea, into an Ingenious Prodigy. Lutes has a Prismatic Vista and cracks the fetch for a Mountain. Shortcutting as he casts a Beamtown Beat Stick. Intrabeck plays out a Flooded Strand and cracks it for a Tropical Island. Shortcutting as he casts an Ignoble Hierarch into a Mana Crypt, continuing that with a Mox Opal. Papa Squats heads to his turn and takes three to play out an untapped Mystic Peak, but passes there. Hidden plays out a Bogart Bog untapped and takes three. He then casts a Mana Crypt and heads to combat. He sends the Prodigy at Lutes, who doesn't block. Hidden then Nujitsu's in Yuriko, and with the commander connecting, Hidden reveals a Bloodstained Mire off the top, with Hidden being done after that. Lutes plays another mountain and has his own mana crypt. Man, I feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> Lutes then floats one off his crypt and casts a Dockside Extortionist. The Goblin enters and makes three treasures off ETB. He then uses his floating to help cast a backside of Slicer. Hidden then cycles a Street Wraith and debates if he wants to get a little cute. And with the table egging him on, he casts a Common Deer, exiling the Prodigy and a Limdol's Vault to do so. But unfortunately for Hidden, that Mana Crypt came to bite him, as Lutz cracks his two treasures to Tybalt's Trickery the spell. The spell is countered with Hidden randomly milling one card. Granted, that card was a temporal trespass, as the table breathes a little easier. Hidden then exiles a snuff out off the top and hits the dock side with it. With Slicer finally resolving. Lutz then moves to combat and sends three at Hidden. There are no blocks, with Lutz transforming the robot as he hands the turn over. Intrabeck untaps and gains Slicer. He takes three from his crypt and then plays and cracks an Arid Mesa as land for turn. He finds out a Badlands and then casts his commander Thrasios. The Merfolk is good as Intrabeck having his box online activates Thrasios. He bottoms the card and reveals a Mystic Remora which he draws. Combat is then held with Slicer heading back at Hidden. There's an Exalted trigger as Hidden takes 8 more Slicer. Papa Squats then heads to his turn and gets Slicer. He plays a Treasure Vault as land and then casts his commander Magda, ending his turn sending the robot at Intrabeck. Hidden untaps and Lutz risks it as he gives him Slicer. Hidden is safe from his crypt and then plays out a Bloodstained Mire. He gets an Undercity Sewers surveilling a snow-covered island to the graveyard. Combat is then held with Hidden sending Yuriko at Lutz with Slicer heading at Intrabeck. There are no blocks, with Hidden sadly not having a ninja to ninjutsu in. 
Damage happens with Hidden revealing a Force of Despair off the Yuriko trigger. The table takes 3 with Hidden being done after that. Lutz takes 3 from his crypt and plays out in Mishra's Workshop, which will let him cast his Brotherhood's Regalia. Lutz then moves to equip, but in response, Hidden channels an Otowaru to bounce the robot. Uh, Splicer gets bounced. I'm floating one. Good thing. Yep. No. How many cards are in your hand, Hidden? I have four cards in hand. Is one of them also a black card? You have, oh, one of them <laughs> definitely is a black card. <laughs> is the second one a black card? <laughs> That's unknown information. <laughs> yeah, whatever, I'm going to play it. Hand loots was right to fear, as Hidden free cast the Force, pitching a Shadow of Mortality. Intraback is safe from his crypt, and then takes two, two shock and a steam vents. He then taps the land to cast his revealed Mr. Grimora, passing after that. The Papa Squats untaps and casts a Dwarven Grunt. He moves the combat and sends Magda at loots, making a treasure off the commander tapping. Hidden is safe from his crypt and plays out a Morphic Pool. He then heads the combat, sending Yuriko at loots, and this time revealing a Spectral Sailor, and having the table take one more. With Hidden on his second main, casting a Satoru the Infiltrator. Lutz is safe from his crypt and has a War Room as land. He has nowhere left to go other than Slicerville, as he casts the backside once again. Unfortunately, this will trigger the Mystic, giving Intrabek a card. With Intrabek then activating Thrasios, describe one to the bottom, and this time revealing a mental misstep. The robot then resolves, with the Regalia this time getting equipped to the Slicer with the beat stick following suit. Slicer then heads sideways at Papa Squats for 4. Lutz will get a treasure on the connect as well as transforming the commander. Intrabek untaps and gains Slicer. He pays for his fish and takes 3 from his crypt. A Gaius Cradle then comes at his land for turn with Intrabek tapping 4 once more to activate Thrasios. He bottoms the card and then reveals his own dock side. He draws it and then casts his goblin. Both squads and loots will crack their own treasures, and Intrabek makes 5 treasures off the ETB. Intrabek then activates Thrasios one more time and continues to bottom the card. He then reveals a mind break trap and finally ends his turn with combat as he sends Slicer at the Papa Squats. There's a plus one plus one from Exalted and another boost of power from the beat stick as Squats takes 10 and Lutz makes 2 treasures. Papa Squats untaps and gains Slicer. He heads straight to combat and sends the 2 dwarfs at Lutz, and Slicer heads at Intrabek. There are 2 Magda triggers, with Intrabek responding to that with the Into the Flood Maw on Slicer. He'll pay it for the ward and bounce the robot back to Lutz's hand. Squats then makes 2 treasures and Lutz takes 4 off the attack with the Papa Squats on his second main, casting a Vexing Bobble. Although Intrabek spends 2 life to Mental Misstep it. Next out is a Cursed Mirror from the Papa Squats, as he triggers the fish and gives Intrabek one more card. The mirror enters as a copy of the Dockside, with the Papa Squats making a deal with the table. He agrees he'll only grab out Portal as a safety net against Slicer. With Lutz cracking one of his treasures, two net squats, nine treasures off the ETB. With squats being true to his word as he passes the turn there. Hidden untaps and takes three from his crypt. He is a Shizuo's death storehouse as land and then has the combat. He sends both ninja at Lutz for three. There are two Yuriko triggers with the first one being a gush for five and the second one being a flare of malice for four knocking Intrabek down to 2. Lutz then heads to his turn and is safe from his crypt. He plays out a mountain as land and for 5 recast Slicer from hand on the front side. Lutz then heads to the combat and knowing the board wipe is coming, sends it at the Papa Squats, who sacks 5 treasures to activate Magda. He grabs out a portal to Phyrexia and has everyone sacrifice 3 creatures. With Lutz being done after that, 
Indrabek untaps and has a crypt trigger. Luckily surviving this time, he then lets the Mystic Remora go and plays a Verdant Catacombs as land. He cracks the fetch down to one to grab out a Bayou and follows all of this up with a Dosen. Hidden then responds by casting his Spectral Sailor and then floats another blue before balancing his two islands to free cast the Gush to draw two cards. Now he does have the Flare of Malice in hand, but he knows that Indrabek isn't just playing Dosen to pass the turn, and instead he activates his Sailor to draw another card. Although unfortunately, Hidden has been flooded with lands the whole game, and doesn't have anything, as it's Luth's turn to see. He activates his War Room to draw himself a card, but the table is out of answers, as the Dosen resolves. Indrabek then casts a Deceiver Exarch, who on ETB untaps his Cradle. Next up is a Wishclaw Talisman, which is then activated immediately to grab himself a card. A Chthonian Nightmare then comes out, with Intrabek now being able to sacrifice his Deceiver to grab back his Dockside and loop between the Exceiver and Dockside for infinite mana, which will then let him draw his deck with Thrasios and win with Athasa's Oracle, winning Intrabek the game. Game review. Well, Slicer, you did a great job. Well, a great job of getting the whole table to focus you solely, and just forget about the other players. I kind of admit, I really got caught up in it trying to stop it, and I really just did forget about everything else. Although, I almost did manage to take Intrabek out just in chip damage from Yuriko, who just got a little unlucky in how the top of the deck plays itself out. Although, looking back, playing that Mana Crypt was my big mistake, as there was only one blue player to be playing around like a Mystic Remora or a Ristic, which I really should have been thinking about Dockside instead. I think other than that, I did feel a little bit bad for the Papa Squats, as his Molda 5 left him basically out of the game until it really was too late. But in all honesty, minus the chance that just Interbeck lost due to the Crypt, he had a handful of counter spells as well to assure the win regardless. Thanks to everyone that joined for the game, and before everyone leaves, I want to thank our special Patreon members, Sly Fox. Tango Down, and Holy Septic for their support of the channel, along with all of our other Patreon supporters as well. And remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.